BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Physics. Uh, this video is about analog and digital signals. Basically, what are the differences between them? So, first of all, what is a signal? A signal is basically information traveling from one place to another. It could be a television signal, which uses radio waves, um, an electrical signal in a wire. If you talk into a microphone, that produces an electrical signal which travels through the wire. It could be an internet signal going to your computer through an ethernet cable. That might be infrared or it might be visible through a fiber optic cable. A mobile phone signal which uses microwaves. A uh, Wi-Fi signal which uses kind of microwaves, radio waves as well. Or a, a Bluetooth signal See, the mobile, the Wi-Fi, and the Bluetooth use very, very similar kinds of waves. They overlap with each other. But information traveling from one place to another is a signal. An analog signal, if you looked at an analog signal with an oscilloscope, you'd see something like this. It might contain lots of different frequencies. Its amplitude can vary quite a bit. Uh, for example, FM radio like normal boring old-fashioned radio. Um, the electrical signal that goes to a loudspeaker is an analog signal and the sound that the speaker produces is an analog signal. Lots of different frequencies, amplitude all over the place. A digital signal however is made up of binary digits or bits and a binary digit is either a one or a zero. So a digital signal is either one or zero. Uh, it only has one amplitude. It's either on or off. It's up or down. It's this or that. It's a, a binary thing, a one or a zero. Uh, lots of examples of digital signals. The internet is digital. Mobile phone signals are digital. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi digital television, digital radio, they're all digital signals. Now, digital to audio, when we talk into a mobile phone, well, that's an analog signal which has to be changed into a digital one. And there's a device called an ADC, an analog to digital converter, which does that. Okay, it converts an analog signal from the microphone into a digital signal. And the, the process is called sampling. What happens inside the ADC is something called sampling. Many times a second, what the, the machine does is it looks at the value of the voltage. Many, many times a second, it looks at the value of the voltage and it changes it into a, a binary code. So if you look at the graph here, many, many times a second, uh, the level of the voltage is converted into a binary code and you end up with a binary signal. Okay, now there are two factors which will affect the quality. One of them is the sampling rate, and the sampling rate is how many samples are taken every second. For example, with high quality music, they, they take about 44,000 samples every second. I think with um, telephone conversations, it's about 8,000 samples every second. Okay, the sampling rate, and secondly, the sampling sensitivity, which is basically how many levels there are. And how close the levels are together, then the, the more accurate the sampling will be. If you've got lots and lots of levels close together, then you'll get accurate sampling. To do that, you'll need lots of bits per sample. Digital images, how do you change a picture into digital? Well, what you do is you split the picture up into lots of picture elements or pixels. And then the color of each pixel has a binary code. Okay, normally we can't see pixels because they're very, very, very small. The idea is that they are so small that you can't see individual pixels. If they were too big, then the, the image would look pixelated as this Harry Potter thing does now. The screen of a television is made up of pixels. It's made up of red, green, and blue picture elements. It might be LCD, which is liquid crystals, or light-emitting diodes, 
but basically they're so small that we can't see them we just see the overall picture why are all signals nearly all signals digital now because there's lots of advantages of advantages of digital signals they can carry lots more information in the same bandwidth I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute the bandwidth is how much of the electromagnetic spectrum they use uh, if they pick up interference uh, and all signals might pick up interference it's easier to filter it out because it's easier to recognize it if you look at this digital signal here it's picked up a little bit of interference but it'll be very straightforward just to filter that out computer memory and processing is all digital computers are digital and they can deal with digital signals very very easily there are a couple of disadvantages um, if you process digital signals it takes a little bit of time which might involve a delay these days now that we have broadband uh, we can handle lots and lots and lots of information at the same time that's not so much of a problem as it used to be uh, the quality depends on the sample settings in other words the sampling rate and the number of pixels etc okay now everybody wants to send signals you know there's uh, public there's private companies there's the army scientists air traffic control uh, ham radio uh, radio normal radio digital radio everybody wants to send signals and it's very important that all these signals don't interfere with each other so everybody gets a little bit of a chunk of the possible frequencies that you might want to use the government allocates a bandwidth a bandwidth is part of the electromagnetic spectrum that they are allowed to use for example mobile phones are allowed a certain bandwidth okay air traffic control is in a certain bandwidth that nobody else is allowed to use the army has its own bandwidth amateur radio has its own bandwidth now with a digital signal in the same bandwidth you can get a lot more signals 20 years ago we had six analog television channels okay there was only six television channels uh, and that was because that was all that could fit in that bandwidth now we have hundreds of digital TV channels all of them fantastic quality entertainment which uses the same amount of bandwidth